Hello, Lockport students. My name is Tori Del Ponte. And I am Chelsea Ose. And we wanted to take some time to update you on the decisions that have been made regarding Central Campus. As your student board members, we think that it's important to keep you informed. Starting with what happened at Central High School. On November 1st, a plaster ceiling of the third floor maths classroom fell with no warning. Luckily, there were no students or staff present during the ceiling collapse, and no one was harmed. Thursday morning, when the collapse was discovered, approximately 1,000 students were evacuated to the newest part of the building and were dismissed to their homes. We would like to thank our teachers and our staff at Central for being so compliant during this time of uncertainty. On Thursday, November 2nd, our Board of Education had planned a special meeting. At our meeting, we discussed the tax levy and obviously what would happen with Central Campus. At that point, we had already begun inspection of Central Campus, which is still currently being inspected. Our head architect presented his findings that what happened at Central Campus was completely without warning. We had plenty of community members present their feelings regarding the events at Central Campus and their desire for our students to be back in person as soon as possible. On Tuesday, November 7th, we had an emergency board meeting to present our findings at Central Campus. Our DLA architects partnered with WJE to inspect each room in Central Campus and identify risks in the structure of the building. Thankfully, there was more low risk than high risk situations. However, as Dr. McBride was presenting, it was evident that there is more work to be done to Central before students are to be let back into the building. Next, Dr. McBride presented our solution for the students of Central Campus. This Wednesday, November 15th, our freshman class began school at Lincoln Way North High School. We are so thankful to Lincoln Way for allowing us to use their space and we're so lucky that the space was readily available for our students. It is important to note that updates related to Central Campus regarding transportation, bell schedule, and more can be found on the LTHS Central Campus Updates webpage. It has been a whirlwind of a week and we appreciate our freshman students readiness and flexibility, and it's important to our Board of Education that the students resume in-person learning as quickly as possible. We wish our freshmen luck as they adapt to their new environment, and we hope that they enjoy the facility. Thank you so much for listening to this message. As a reminder, we are always here to advocate for our student body. Please feel free to come to us whenever you feel inclined to do so. Have a great rest of your week. Good luck, freshmen, and always Go Porters!